Good evening, good evening, good evening. I am back with another episode. Thank y'all for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it. Today is still Tuesday, September 10th, 2024. And I am off work getting ready to head to the gym. I got some trash in my eye. Got it out with the little rinse or whatever, but it's still not, it's just annoying. So bear with me, I got one eye red over here. Maybe you noticed it, maybe you didn't. But anyway, I was trying to decide, this is my third of the day, and I'm trying to get back on my grind, which I never got off of it, but I got to while making like two videos. We're like, nah, that ain't enough. So I need to make three, consistently like I was doing, which I have been doing, so this is my third. So I'm like, what am I gonna talk about on the third? I try to switch it up, try to have some variety, right? But then if I don't want to have variety, I won't do that either. I'll talk about the same shit. Y'all know that. But this one, I want to do something a little different. So I'm like, what am I going to talk about? Lo and behold, got in the car, cranked it up. The radio was already on. It was a sexy red song on. By now, all of y'all should know who Sexy Red is. And if you don't, go look her up. But there was a Sexy Red song on the radio. And I'm sitting here. All right, let me turn this mess off, right? And voila. That's my topic. Not about Sexy Red. But what happened in America, something we don't have anymore that led to the rise of a sexy red. There's something we used to have in America that we don't have anymore. I'm gonna get to the point, I'm gonna tease y'all. Y'all know I like to take a long time to get to the point. So I'm gonna tease you again, getting to what it is we're missing now that we don't have anymore. A lot of y'all gonna guess moral value by like you ain't gonna guess till I tell you. Something we don't have anymore in America that led to the rise of a sexy red, a Megan Thee Stallion, a NWA. Saying, ain't gonna just talk about the women. The Chief Keith, the Lil Dirks. The Charleston Whites. Just the overall deterioration of American society. Now let me take Charleston White out of there. Remove him. I don't, I, don't, I don't classify him as deterioration. He's just a dude that's speaking on what's going on. So remove, strike Charleston White from the record. He's not in that category. I like Charleston White. I know you know what I, I was watching a video of him today. That's what made me him. He was on my mind when I said his name. Cause he will say some stuff, but that ain't what just he, he ain't he ain't in this category. Of what I'm talking about. Something didn't happen. We have lost something in America that led to sexy red and whatever she said out of her mouth that led to Luke Skywalker and the two live crew back in the day what they said out of their mouth that led to men walking around here nowadays with their pants sagging, hanging off the all the way down to their knees. Something we don't have anymore that we used to have that wouldn't allow a man to wear pants like that. Something that we used to have in America that we don't have anymore that wouldn't let a woman talk like sexy red talk. Something we used to have in America that would let a woman walk outside naked like they do nowadays. See, we don't have it anymore. Once upon a time, we had it. I'm gonna get to the point, y'all, of what it is we don't have that will allow a woman to come outside in a sheer see-through stocking material cat suit with no underwear on and you can see the hair bumps on her cooter. 
We have lost something that we used to have that would not have allowed that woman to come outside like that. In the meantime, y'all be trying to guess what I'm what I'm what I'm gonna say. Don't fast forward. I want y'all to guess. Some of y'all probably know, some of you don't. You're guessing. Whatever you do, play the game fair. I want y'all to guess what I'm talking about without fast forward. And I'm gonna see and let me know who got it right in the comment section without cheating. Without fast forwarding to the end of the video. It ain't gonna be the end when I cheat. Do not fast forward. We're gonna play a game. Let's play a game. What was the name of that video? That movie with a dude. Let's play a game. I forgot the name of that with the little dude on the bike, the little uh doll. Let's play a game. I forgot the name of that movie. But let's play a game. In the comment section, tell the truth. If you guess right, before I got to what I was talking about, what we missing now, put it in the comment section that, hey, I got it right when I tell you what it is. Without you fast forwarding. I know if you're lying. Don't ask me how. I just know if you're lying. And then I trust y'all that you're going to tell the truth. That I, I knew what you were talking about, Big Ward. What we missing that we don't have anymore that we used to have that would not allow a sexy red to be saying what she's saying. That would not allow a woman to come outside half naked. Or all the way naked. That would not allow a man to walk around with his pants hanging down to his knees. To not allow the music that we listening to on the radio to be played. That would not allow what we're able to watch on TV now. It couldn't be played on TV once upon a time in America. Because we had something that wouldn't allow us to do that. That we don't have anymore. We had something that wouldn't allow you to be out outside smoking your, your gas or whatever. You know, your, your dope in front of everybody, you know. Everybody looking at you. See, I used to do, you know, back when I was getting, uh, you know, doing my thing, we used to sneak and do it. But we had something that we ain't got now that I'm talking about. That America don't have no more. Shame. Shame. In America, we have no more shame. We need to bring shame back. S-H-A-M-E. We have no more shame. We're not ashamed of anything. We have no shame. Have you no shame? No. We don't. Anything goes. Women out here sleep around more than men. Once upon a time, a woman would have been shamed of that. Nowadays, a woman all on social media, YouTube, Facebook, you name it, talking about how she give how cool. No shame. I grew up during a time where if a woman did give some sloppy toppy, she was rare that somebody knew about it. Now, with women doing it, but she wasn't going to say it. And if you told somebody she did it, she was shamed. You know, she be subbing you. Not no more. Now, a woman would get on anywhere in front of anybody and talk about how she do it. How she get that sloppy toppy. Because we have no shame. Now we got people on social media in front of any and everybody, kids, old folks, it don't matter. Who watching? Nobody concerned about who looking at this. You grown, you ain't got no business looking then. Because we have no shame. But they'll get on here talking about you call it tossing salad eating the groceries I gotta be kept by what I say on here y'all know what tossing salad is right eating groceries ah oh, what's the other name for it I can't y'all know what I'm talking about if you don't know what I'm talking about look up tossing salad or eating a 
the buttocks. How about that? People out here saying in and everything out their mouth. All on here talking about, I seen women talking about they eat buttocks. A man's, you know. I ain't tripping off if you do that or not. I'm saying you, you broadcasting to everybody what you do in the privacy of your own home. We're supposed to be between you and your partner. Now, people just say in and everything about what they do behind closed doors. And now they people doing some of the nastiest, kinkiest stuff you can think about. But they have no shame. No, you should not be ashamed of what you do as two consenting adults behind closed doors. No, you shouldn't be ashamed of that. What you should be ashamed of is that you're broadcasting it for everybody to hear. That's nobody's business but you and your partner. But you have no shame. So therefore, a woman won't mind coming on social media, Facebook, what have you, posting all types of filth. Men too. Just, just both, men and women. We both do. I'm guilty. But I stopped because I still have shame. There's still some things in this world, in this life, that I'm still ashamed to do because I don't want to make my deceased mom look bad, my deceased father look bad, my living mother who's in, who bedridden. I don't want to make her look bad. You see what Big Water over there? No, he ought to be shamed. See, this is something people don't say no more. You ought to be shaming yourself. When the last time you heard somebody say that? Anywhere. You can't say that. Because if you say somebody ought to be shaming themselves, they're not going to come after the person who's doing the shameful behavior. They're going to come after you for saying they ought to be shaming themselves. Society going to attack the person that say it. You ought to be shaming yourself. That's who's going to get attacked. Not the person with the shameful behavior. This America, you got a right to do what you want to do. She grown. I'm grown. He grown. They're going to defend the nasty person. They're going to defend the person that's walking outside half naked. You insecure. Mind your business. You ain't got to look. If you say something about that woman out here with her cooter showing, It's going to be women that's going to stand up for. If you say she ought to be shame of herself for coming outside like that, they're going to attack you for saying she ought to be shame of herself. They ain't going to tell her, baby, you ought to be shame of yourself. They're not going to join in with you. They're going to attack you for saying she ought to be shame of herself. She outside naked. She grown. She got a right to do whatever she want to do. Don't look. Like ain't no kids out here. Elderly people out here. They'll attack you for saying. You better not say, you ought to be shaming yourself. See, once upon a time when I was growing up, that was a common thing. You ought to be shaming yourself. You ought to be shaming yourself letting them kids come outside looking like that. Their hair ain't combed. They dirty. You ought to be shaming yourself. You ought to be shaming yourself. You coming outside looking like that. In the grocery store with a bonnet on in Walmart. You ought to be shaming yourself. Can't say that no more. America has no shame. Which the young boy nowadays think is a style. It's, well, it's they style the way they want to dress, what have you. Once upon a time, a man would have been shamed to come outside with some tight pants on unless he was now it's y'all style skinny leg I can't hardly go to the store no more and buy pants all they sell is skinny leg I don't wear no skinny leg I'm a grown ass man but nowadays no shame a man would have been shamed to come outside. Y'all young boy, maybe y'all don't know, y'all didn't grow up around during that time, whatever. This is a, a different world y'all living in, I get it. Once upon a time, a man would have been shamed 
ashamed of himself to my coming outside with some tight pants on. I remember when I was in high school, we didn't have much money. And I had all grew some clothes. But I had enough to have, wear. And I put on some pants and wore them to school. And they were tight. What y'all is okay with now. Man, I got janked so bad. I told my mama, I don't know what you gonna do, how we gonna do it. I go cut some grass some. I'm not wearing them clothes no more. I went to school. They start, they call me tight pants. That was my nickname. They go tight pants. Now it's the fashion. That's what y'all do. I went to school. This was in the, in the uh, 80s. I graduated in 1990. It was in the 80s. And I outgrew them pants from the year before. I was going to wear them again. You know, your mama, wash, keep them clean, hang them up, this, that. It's your school clothes. Well, this was my school clothes for the next year because we had no money. I outgrew them. They were tight, but I could still button them up. My mama said, you going to wear them. If you can button them, you wear them. She didn't care nothing about how tight they was. I almost walked home from school. And I live about 10 miles from the school. I was going to walk home. I, I was so embarrassed. So ashamed of wearing them tight ass pants. Not by choice, but necessity. Y'all choosing to wear tight pants. No shame. But hey, big boy, we wear what we want to wear. I'm, gonna, I'm just talking about I come from a, I'm from a different cloth. You wear what you want to wear. We talking about shame. There's no way a man in my era would have came outside with their pants, them, them Burt Reynolds on, that's what we call them. They called me Burt Reynolds. Look up who Burt Reynolds was. Or James Evan. That was another name they used to call me. And Bo Duke. They called me Bo Duke, James Evans, Burt Reynolds, and Tight Pants. One day of wearing Tight Pants got me four nicknames. Bo Duke, Burt Reynolds, James Evans, and Tight Pants. Just because I had on a pair of tight jeans, and that was all I had. They didn't care about the struggle. I was ashamed, though. Not no more. It was certain things that if we saw old people anywhere in the area, certain, certain stuff we wouldn't say, certain things we wouldn't do, out of respect and out of we would be shamed to talk like that in front of Miss Ellabelle. Because Miss Ellabelle going to tell you Boy, you ought to be shaming yourself. I know your mama raised you better than that. We had shame back then. Again, if I said the wrong thing wrong with Ellabel, if I looked the wrong way, if I ain't washed my face, whatever, Miss Ellabel going to say, boy, you ought to be shaming yourself. Miss Nancy raised you better than that. You can't do that now. You can't call nobody out on their BS. You can't tell nobody they ought to be shaming themselves. Free country. Wild and free. Do whatever you want to do. No holds barred. If a woman want to come on social media, talk about all the sloppy topics she give, so be it. No shame. If she want to be on here, Busting it down. So be it. No shame. If a man want to be on here, talking about he child of child support. See, once upon a time, a man would be ashamed if folk knew he wasn't taking care of his child. Once upon a time, if somebody knew, 
you wasn't taking care of your child, you would be shamed. Now y'all coming out saying, man, that child support system, they need to do away with. You know why they got child support? You know why the child support system is in place? From dudes that when there wasn't no child support, wasn't taking care of their kids. A system had to be put in place to make men take care of their kids. From when it, it ain't always been no child support system. Y'all know that, right? Child support ain't always been around. The child support family court thing. Once the pe one of the men always been getting divorced. Divorce ain't that new, but it wasn't no child support. Child support came into play because men had no shame when it came to being a deadbeat dad. See, once I, where I grew up, men were ashamed that folk know they weren't taking care of their kids. I remember many a time, my mom, my adopted mom, told my biological dad, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. We'll be sitting out there, I'll be in the yard playing, my mom sitting on the porch, and I ain't talking about my, my biological, I'm talking about my adopted mother. She ain't had no problem with my dad. So he, it wasn't no situation the way him and my mom was beefing away, he can't, she was keeping me away from her, keeping him away from me, not letting him see me. That wasn't my situation. My dad was more than welcome to come see me anytime he wanted. The lady that raised me and, and adopted me, she was neutral between my mom and my dad because neither one of them had me. I was adopted by somebody that I wasn't even blood related to. So therefore, she was neutral to both parties, to my mom and dad. Either one of them could have came and saw me anytime they wanted, and they didn't. And I remember a time my dad would be walking right past my house while I'm out there in the street, in the yard playing. He wouldn't, he just keep walking like he ain't see me. And my mom said, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Yes. That's why I could never let it happen where my child would be out here. Somebody saying, I ought to be ashamed of myself by me neglecting my own flesh and blood. We have no shame. Jokers like my dad is the reason for child support. That's why we have child support. It came a time where men didn't have no shame. They weren't ashamed of not taking care of their kids. Once upon a time, Men were ashamed of that. My dad happened to not be one of them. But I knew plenty of other men that I had as an example. My dad wasn't an example for me. He was not my example. I had some real men to look at for an example of how a man was supposed to be. And the men I saw, they wouldn't dare let you talk about they weren't taking care of their kids. So it was a blessing that I wasn't raised by my nowhere around my sorry ass daddy. That's why he laid up somewhere right now. I think he might be dead. I don't know. Don't care. I don't know. Last I heard, he was somewhere bedridden. I don't know. But because he had no shame, I have no shame when it comes to not giving a damn about what he had. So I'm guilty too. Some things in life, I don't have no shame. I ain't ashamed to tell you. I don't care how he doing. But other than that, I still have some shame. So in the comment section, let me know who guessed what I was talking about when I said that's something America doesn't have anymore that kept us from living this life, having a society the way it is now in America no shame. Anything goes. You can do whatever you want to do, and you ain't got to feel no type of way about it. Enjoy yourself. No shame. Get it. Got it. Good. Bye.